Okay, hello. We gotta get into this really quickly. Okay, so what do we got? We got, I don't I don't even know what that is. I can't even see that. Hello, what was that? Can you please go backwards? I know that's lavender. I mean, I'm looking at my own video and I'm like, what, what, what was the first one? I don't remember, was it juniper? Maybe. And then we got red roses. I'm pretty sure it was juniper. It looks like juniper. Those are red roses. Hi, red roses, how are you? We're gonna mix a bunch of things together. Uh, that's a mortar and pestle that's stained. Don't ask me why it's stained, okay? I'm showing you that it's stained. Oh, there's some incense in there. Girl, what the hell did we put in there? Ain't nobody now. Probably some roses, juniper. And my cat just meowed at me. Look at that. This is my this is my love based incense. We got lavender. We have juniper. We've got other stuff in there. Okay. Now the thing you saw me make at the very beginning. Oh, we gotta put some eyebrow in there because we gotta open our eyes. We gotta open our mind. You know, we're desperate. We're lonely. We're single. We're probably going to blow our brains out later. But don't tell anybody that because you know this was recorded months ago and clearly I'm still alive. Unfortunately, we're gonna use dragon's blood. This dragon's blood is really great for potency. Hello, I need to crush some dragon's blood. I ain't got much dragon's blood. Oh, look, some oily thing just fell off the bottom of that, but whatever. Um, I did crush more dragon's blood later, but we, we put in some dragon's blood. Why are we putting in dragon's blood? Dragon's blood is adding potency. We've got juniper. We've got pretty sure that other jar was juniper. This is hibiscus. You can eat these. I mean check with your doctor first obviously but you can literally eat hibiscus i think i think tequila was telling me at one point that her husband eats them like chips or something or used to or i don't know i don't know it's been decades since i talked to that woman anywho we're gonna crush everything together now a love like the past what are we doing we are essentially bringing uh, the qualities of the past the qualities we liked hi patchouli and we're going to essentially say, you know, I want somebody who had 
a similar type of quality, you know? Maybe there was something about an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend that you really, really liked, but there was a lot of really crappy parts about them. And for some reason, I'm always fixated on the good parts of a relationship, even when it ends. We've got fire oil over there, girl, don't worry. And we've got our love incense. Now, I did make a container for this because there are steps to the spell, okay? First, you gotta make your love incense. And we are also making, we're taking the same incense and we're making an oil out of it, right? Like, why did you tap on the cork? Like, what is wrong with you? Um, I always use coconut oil. Always. I don't use any other type of oil. I used to use other types of oil, but now I only use coconut oil. You're like, Adam, why do you only use coconut oil? That's not going to make a lot. And again, we don't really need a lot, but we, we're going to add some fire oil to it. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful fire oil. I mean, I don't know what was up with my camera. It was just, hi, how are you? And then, you know me, I always apply a bunch of effects over top. And what if I talk like this? Does this make me sound beautiful? Oh, where am I going? Hello? Okay, well, at least we're back. Jesus, we needed cinnamon. Like, cinnamon is, is great in love spells. It's great in curses. Okay, great. Thanks for tapping on it. Like, what? We couldn't see that? Like, what are you, an idiot? Anyways, put your cinnamon in there. And then we're going to put some of this. We're going to, well, yeah, yeah. Like, you need to crush cinnamon. You know, I still got cinnamon sticks, but apparently I'll just like to use the powder. Crushing the sticks just gets annoying after a while, okay? We're going to put a little bit of this into our, um oil you know we added some fire oil we added the fire oil because we want it to be potent we want it to we want it to be fast we want it to be quick we want we want love and that's the whole point of this is we're trying to essentially take the best qualities about our ex-boyfriends or our ex-girlfriends the ones the qualities that we fell in love with them and we just we want to stick all those qualities into a man now this spell did work for me I got some tea to tell you about that, man. It didn't work out. I don't know. I, I fail at love spells. I gotta I gotta continuously practice my love spells because I am I'm great with money spells. What are you doing? This looks inappropriate. Hello. Oh, you were shaking the oil. Okay, let's shake that oil because it looked inappropriate. <laughs> but you know, the the guy that I I didn't do the spell on a particular person. You never do love like the past on a particular person. You do it as a general thing to attract to somebody who has similar qualities that you loved about the last person. And we're going to put intentions in, okay? So put those intentions in. This is really, really simple. Now, I didn't show you the other part of the spell because I'm lazy. Okay, I'm super lazy. We made the container. That's what we did. And now we're putting the intentions into the love oil. This is more about the love oil than it is about the actual spell. The love oil can be used on people. Love like the past is used to generally bring love to you. You could use this oil on a candle. You could use this oil, whatever you want. Okay, so this was a really quick video. I hope you learned something from it. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Be like, I learned something. Or be like, you suck.